What's up? Ian from Powerhouse Miniatures. How you doing? This is a showcase video for Corvus Corax, Primarch of the Raven Guard from Forge World. One of the Horus Heresy character series, Primarchs. I think this is the last one I've not done. I've painted every, I think every one of them now. Uh, I've done one Mortarian and I think only two Vulcans, but other than that, um, Gilliman and uh, Horus have done like four or five each. This is the first Corax. Really cool model, really pleased with it. Comes in about five different pieces, like um, there's two base sections, a little dead guy, and then the model itself. So, absolutely fantastic. Really, really pleased with the way it came out. Um, the wings and stuff look kind of fragile, which is kind of shit, but other than that, uh, well, it's only be, really be a problem if you're um, transporting it or, you know, this is for sale, so it's on my eBay page at the moment. I'll put a link in the description. If you'd like to buy that, it's £250, which is the price that I charge for most of the Primarchs in, like, the top painting level, uh, which includes the model, includes everything. You know, buy the model, assembly, clean up, priming, painting, basing, delivery, all the rest. So, 250 quid, and I think that's pretty much it. So, yeah, really pleased with it. Like I said, uh, it's the last, last Primark that I've not painted, so there's, that's a bit, you know, that's pleasant for me as a painter, but yeah, the model's just, this is just bitching. So, I copied the box art pretty much. So, hopefully, I'm just going to move the cameras a little bit, the, uh, the lights out of that. Yeah, so the, um, I'm not sure what chapter it is, but I think Sons of Horus or something like that. So I just went for like a smooth blending thing all the way around again, just copied the uh, the boxes. That's some of the Dark Eldar colours, like Cyberite green mixed with ca uh, Caliban green and stuff like that, like just in various layers. Uh, and a gold trim, and then some Eshin grey just on the, uh, just wet blended in on the edge of the chainsaw. Base, pretty much, you know, what you see is what you get sort of thing. Just a uh, nice smooth blending all with the airbrush. I've got some under colours coming in, nice uh, edge highlight. Got some rust effects, which is really nice. Same as this one, obviously. Um, just put a black around the edge, black around the bottom, but then, of course, the rust effects near any of the metal parts. Um, and then some like solid edge highlighting around the uh, around the stone pieces. And then Corvus Corax. So hopefully you can see that there. Really, really nice. Um, I've got some full HD pictures on my Facebook page at the minute and on the eBay listing. So again, check the links in the description and you'll find it on there. So it was, uh, I did an airbrush thing in the centre. So I used a little piece of cardboard to like block off some of the areas that you're going to airbrush. So I had the model laid down. I put the cardboard just across the outside section of the wing to block it off and then did a blend right in the centre. So I did, um, so I hold the airbrush like, uh, what's that on? perpendicular to the thing so it was like a 90 degree angle from the flat side of the inside of these wings and built up a layer there with US Army Grey which is a Vallejo game colour um, same on the other side and then a really light wash of Sotec Green and then around the edges an edge highlight of uh, Administrator Grey and White um, gives it a nice effect so when you see it from there which is like that's again that's like the magic angle or whatever that I'm going to photograph it from um, you get that lovely blend right into the centre of the wings and on the back, exactly the same. So like just there, um, looks amazing. So of course, when you're on the table, you're going to be looking at it from like you know from a 45 degree angle sort of thing. So we've got the nice airbrush, airbrush, <laughs> airbrush blends. The little fades in and out of the base across the centre of each piece. So of course, same as always, you're going to look at the model from centre on, and then right in the centre, you've got the blends right in the middle of the wing, middle of the wing, middle of the backpack middle of the jump back piece, middle of the leg, top and left of the uh, stone parts on the side, middle of the of the base and these big bits of rubble with the Aquila. So same on the other side. So what again, um, that's the that, that's the magic angle sort of thing. So you've got blend in the centre of each wing, centre of the top of the arm, centre of this on the hand, centre of the shoulder pad, centre of the chest, centre of the groin, centre of the leg, you know what I mean, on and on. So right in the middle, uh, it all comes together with the lighting like that. And in that way, you can get away with slightly less smooth blending and you can do it slightly faster but produce the same good high level sort of result. Um, because I think the lighting and stuff is, and the light placement and the light direction um, can not hide, and again, hide has negative connotations, but it can sort of hide the, uh, the smoothness of the blending. And with airbrush, you never have to worry about that anyway. So in collaboration with those things, there's two or three things there that really um, can really speed up the process and get a good result. Chuff, chuff with the wings, basically. But yeah, really thin uh, wash all across, like a glaze with Sotec green, so like a turquoise colour. 
just tint it off and then it comes on a bit stronger just in the, in the fade off between administrator grey and black so it just tints it and it looks like you've sort of layered it even though you haven't and I think that's a trick um, bit of a, well that's a, that's a trick for you that uh, it sort of looks like you've done it with the airbrush and it looks like you've sort of done more layers than you have again that took like 10 minutes so really really cool um, and then with the colour palette itself it's grey and, grey and white so grey black and white so all together um, the 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 palette if you want is very limited and of course I've highlighted some of the the black armor panels in the, in a grey with edge highlight and stuff so altogether it looks almost monochrome so the face in particular I spent quite a long time uh, I'll just move the old uh, move the lights so you get a good good old look um, there you go right so just just on the face gone for a really bright warm kind of thing to cut well not to contrast but you know it's really stand out from the armor because again it is uh, is quite limited and then in the shades there's some dark browns there's a few uh, again in the sotek green and the wings and stuff like that so even though it is limited and it looks limited the whites are shaded with blue and turquoise and purple the wings are turquoise and black um the face is red purple turquoise you know all, all the different colors so from a distance obviously it's all gray it's all monochrome and all the rest but actually uh you know, there's all sorts of different different colours. And then on the gems are red on the centre of the um, shin and shoulder pad. But on the back, I did a glowing red effect coming from the jump pack engines thrusters. So that gives it a bit of, okay, gives it a bit of colour. And a couple of like blood streaks on the old uh, lightning claw thing. So I'm gonna move these lights away. Move this one as well. So yeah, altogether, like I said, I, I tried to make the face look good because it's like that's going to stand out, and it's right in the centre as well, which is obviously where the eye is drawn, uh, right in the thing. So that's pretty much it. Let's little, let's uh, little ramble for it. Really, really pleased. Like I said, two hundred and fifty quid. Find it on eBay. Find it on my Facebook page. You can find all the pictures on there. Um, if uh, I charge two hundred and fifty pounds for these, if you want one painting, let me know. Drop me a message and all that or find me on Facebook, on my website, or eBay, or blah, just all of it. Bang Powerhouse Miniatures into Google, and you'll find me there. And then, yeah, have a look at my other videos if you get a minute. And I think that's it. So, yeah, uh, Ian from Powerhouse Miniatures. Cheers for watching.